so hi guys uh, today i have a very fresh tutorial where i'm going to teach you how to make a model using google colab and then bring the model in unity and test it out for ios and android devices so without wasting much time let's get started but first i will like to thank this guy he has done a great work he has created a project for the for it using tensorflow light and unity and he has some samples inside this and we are going to use this project but we are he has trained some models but we are going to use much simpler model for the basic understanding we are going to go to the, all this but in the future tutorials so you have to go you have to click on either you can clone or you can directly download the chip you can open it in the unity and get started so first of all let's create a very simple model so i'll i don't want to waste the time in writing so i've already created a small script which will create a very simple model for you so here we are importing the tensorflow numpy keras the most important thing is tensorflow lite we have to use tensorflow lite for ios and android device so basically whatever the model we have we have created we will con be converting it into a lite version so that we can use it in unity so this is uh, this y is equal to mx 2x minus 1 so what basically we are doing is we are telling this x we are plotting this x and y based on this equation so you can see here this is 4 x value is 4 so 4 to the 8 minus 1 is 7 so the label whatever the label of the model we are already predicting and telling it it is 7 we will be training the model based on this so again you can see another example where x value is 3 3 to the 6 minus 1, 5. And similarly, you can go and check other. So, with this, we'll be creating the model. So, first, we'll be use as you know, we must use keras.sequencing. We add the tense layer, we compile with the SZD, with the optimizer SZD, and the loss will be mean square error. Let's execute this. Let's execute this. compile the model and finally we will do a fit for 500 epochs you can see the loss is going down 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 and our model is framed so now we'll predict if this model is working fine or not so we'll see for 10 so the answer must be 10 to the 20 minus 1 19 the prediction must be around 19 looks like the model is working properly and we are getting the value around 19 we can check it further we can put 20 in it to the 40 minus 39 around 39 this is also working fine now the next step is we are going to save the model so we are creating a directory named as save model then we are saving the model inside this directory save model slash the model name is linear predict h5 so until now we have not made any we have not made the model like tensorflow like we are using the simple tensorflow and keras to make the model and create and to save it so tensorflow.keras.model.save model will save the model in this directory then we'll, we are going to use these two things to create a model a light model tensorflow light convert and then we are going to finally save the model so let's execute this And finally save it 
the directory you can see the path so our model must be saved in the directory we are going to check it the directory is created and the model is saved so we just need this for our project so let's save it in the desktop again. save it we are done from the collapse size now we'll switch it switched in unity we are going to drag and drop this model inside the streaming assets i already have a model let's delete it delete one let's keep one for now and now we'll make scene create a scene so first of all let's create a input field that's not good let's create a queue of text field this also looks good let's make it bigger One size little bit bigger for three to nine. I think so. This is good. We'll line it here. And let's create a button. We got the UI and a button. And let's do it here. So let's change the camera. Let's make it solid color. The text is not coming proper. We'll change the color of the text to white. I think so this looks much better. Let's create an empty game object. We'll name this as script. And I've already created a script for you. So I'll assign this. I'll just explain what exactly I'm doing in this. So we'll drag and drop the input field out here. We'll track the button component and we'll drag the text field but things look good let's go to the script and let's see if it so we have defined a string field with the name with the model we have created so it is in the streaming asset it will directly pick the name from there a text field a button and an input field and yes for the using the tensorflow light we use interpreter interpreter is the Core code, so now we go to the start and we'll see what we are doing. We are basically creating, uh, we are making an option option field. This is required for all the model you train, uh, all the model you use in the Unity. So this you have to create it, and you have to create a uh, interpreter, an object of interpreter. So basically this interpreter is taking two things, the model and the options. So option model will will load the model using this file utility.load load files. And always remember to allocate the tension, otherwise your unit is going to crash. We also define the on destroy and we dispose the interpreter. And on button click, we are going to call this function. So all the things that are going to happen in this function. So we are passing the string that is the input field text component. And we are going to define two arrays basically. So So we are uh, the 
since our model just contains one value so we are at the zero index we are going to pass this string to the float and assign it to the zero eight index of this array input array the output will be also be an array so in the field if in future if we train more a bigger model then we need an uh, the output and the input will be given as an, in the form of an array so we'll set the tensor data this things take two things the index and the input tensor so since we have we have only one value so we are giving it input uh, index as zero and the input as the input will input this value to here by after parsing and putting it in the array so if we invoke the interpreter then we get the output data as this this is also an array so we run a for loop and we'll do the debug and we'll put print the output to the output text that we created in the gui so let's switch it in here and let's test it out if it is working or not mm. Yeah, this is not working. Okay, we have to value out here. Okay. So okay, we have defined the button, but we have not called it. We'll add a script. button click oh we don't need to press this I think so this must work now we'll save it once again we are going to switch to the editor and now we'll put 10 the output must be around 19 10 I think so we are getting the right result even we are getting the console output let's test on 20 the output is perfect so here we have trained the model we have brought it into unity and we have See, we have checked this so you can even build it for the android and ios just need to switch the platform i've already built and tested it's working perfectly so in future we will bring some more uh, complex model we'll be using some more uh, we'll bring we'll be uh, we'll testing out more complex models but for now this is thank you